Hello, so today I want to speak with you about the mechanism for channeling versus the mechanism for mediumship. And I want to explain to you how they are the same, okay? And yet how they are also a little different. So let's go into this mechanism so that you can further understand it. Essentially, what you are doing is you are connecting to information that is outside of yourself through your psychic senses, okay? But you're essentially connecting and receiving energetic information from wherever, right? <laughs> so whether or not that energetic information is from your guides or the universe or your higher self or a deceased relative, you're using the same mechanism. You're just connecting differently, okay? So when you are trying to connect to a deceased relative, you are linking into their vibrational frequency, right? Their kind of energetic calling card, if you want to call that. So if you, especially it helps like if you know that person that you're trying to communicate, right? Because you remember how that person felt, okay? So you're using that feeling sense to connect into their vibrational frequency and communicate with them, okay? So that's how you do it through mediumship. Now, to do that through channeling, you would do that similarly, okay? So you would connect to that higher frequency, that higher vibration of whether or not it's your guides, your higher self, or the universe at large, right? Whatever it is that you're wanting to communicate with, you're connecting to that frequency, that energetic signature, okay? So, you're using the mechanism the same. You're using the same mechanism, but you're connecting to different frequencies. Does that make sense? So yeah, whether or not you do channeling or mediumship or whatever, it just depends on whether or not you can tap into those corresponding frequencies. So for me, mediumship is a little harder because I have a harder time connecting to the frequencies of those who've passed. Okay, that is not my forte. <laughs> I have a much easier time connecting to my higher self or, you know, that universal frequency, the kind of the Akashic records of information, my guides, um, all those things are much easier for me um, to connect to. And that's just because it's a different type of frequency. And I guess I vibe more with that frequency. So it's easier for me. But yeah, so I encourage you to play with this and figure out like what frequencies are easier for you to connect with. And do you have an easier time connecting with the frequencies of deceased relatives versus like guides or your higher self or things like that, right? So play with it and see, but realize again, it's the same mechanism. It's the same tool. You're just using that same tool to connect to different frequencies. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, here's another video you can check out that will tell you a little bit more about channeling. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you had a great day.